What's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, I've, I've got up early before the rest of my family. I've, I've been zeroing my little Crossman P1377 this morning and I just want to talk about what I've done to it, what I might do to it, and shoot it a little bit. I've got this 1377. I've been messing with these American Classics a bunch and I just changed a few things on this one. I don't know where this one's headed yet, but I wanted to video the, I guess the process of building this and modding it and stuff. All I've done to this 1377 here, I've cleaned the barrel really well. I've cut off the lips right here at the beginning of the barrel at the breech. I just did that with a deburring tool. It's feeding a lot better. Probably should have went with a longer bolt probe, but I didn't. I went with a bolt probe off of, I think, the 2300. I'm not sure if, if that's the right one. It was, it's, it's the same bolt. It just, I can remove the handle now. It's not one piece or, or pressed in there or whatever they do to these American classics because I couldn't get the other one apart. So I wanted one that I could eventually maybe make some bolt handles for. So I went with this bolt and I polished all of the mating surfaces inside of here. So the trigger is feeling really good. And I bought two springs for it. I ended up taking the trigger spring back out and putting the stock one back in there. But I've put a lighter hammer spring in there. And that's just making it to where it's, it's a lot easier to operate. It's a lot easier to cock. With these lips cut off, it's a lot faster to feed and shoot. So that's all basically I was going for with the lighter hammer spring. And it's lightened up my trigger pull a little bit. With both springs in there, it really was a little too squishy a little too light the lighter hammer spring is going to make it have a little bit lower velocity that's fine i'm shooting this thing at six pumps most of the time anyway um this is not one that i plan to try to squeeze any power out of but i've thought about maybe getting a super long barrel or maybe something like 14 to 18 inches and then getting some kind of stock on here i'd like to leave the factory crossman grips so i'll let you know how that goes maybe buck rail maybe a custom piece or something like that but i'm shooting about this is 25 yards today well i don't have my range finders i have lost them it's probably in some shooting bag somewhere let's say this is between 20 and 25 yards yeah i've zeroed with some crossman premier 7.9s this gun doesn't like these that well this this thing 10 this barrel likes the excite hammers but i've got like 25 of these crossman premieres left and i want to use them up i don't know why i'm like that but if i have like that many left i just want to shoot them up so i can i don't know but anyway that's what i'm shooting and i've got two bottles out or two pieces of trash out of my car basically a celsius bottle and a chocolate milk bottle and i'm just going to shoot from here and see if i can hit them basically that was a long intro to get to that but With the lighter hammer spring in there, it's not holding on to air, but I haven't chronographed it to see if it's consistent at eight pumps. My guess is that at six pumps, it's probably gonna be a little more consistent because it's not pushing that that system to its max. It's, it's a little bit less. So maybe that lighter hammer spring will allow it to still be consistent. Let's shoot this can and see what happens. After this, we will probably go down and shoot at some close ranges with this pistol. Also gonna take my safety off. Pretty cool. Got a ton to do today. I'm grateful that I woke up early with some energy to come out here and do this. I was actually, I put this together last night and I tried to shoot it a little bit and I just could not hit what I was aiming at because You've got to take the rear side off to uh, take it all the way apart. So I lost my zero. So I was out here at like nine o'clock last night trying to figure that out. But I think I'm pretty good on zero right here at this range. So what I'm gonna do is swap out some batteries, maybe drink another cup of coffee, and I'm gonna go get set up down at my 50 yard spot with all the cans. And, and we'll shoot some cans offhand with this pistol this morning. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm set up about, I would say between 10 and 15 yards away 
from these cans and I've I've got to get a rangefinder. But I've been thinking about making this a rifle, but at the same time, I've been thinking about keeping it pistol because to be honest with you, I suck with a pistol. And I was raised kind of in an anti-pistol household other than like a Thompson Center contender or like a Ruger single single six. That was really the only things that I had access to growing up. So I'm thinking about keeping this one pistols just so I can get better. I can get more accurate with them. I can get better technique with it. I'm sure I'm doing everything wrong today, but I'm just going to shoot offhand a little bit. This has definitely gotten me, uh, just shooting pistol here lately, has gotten me wanting to get like a little 22 or something to practice with. Well, I, I literally know nothing about pistols. I had a little kel one time. That's about, and I've got a high point, but that's the extent of my pistol knowledge. So uh, maybe that'll be something we get into later this year on this channel. If you're watching this and you're not familiar with my channel, basically, the reason I cock it every time before I pump is just habit and if I don't do it it's like a compulsive thing so you don't have to do that I don't think on these well no nah, I'm not going to try it next time because it'll mess my rhythm up but uh, yeah that's why I do that And that came from shooting a ton of Daisy 880. And yeah, I just feel out of rhythm if I don't do it now. So it's kind of stupid. Yeah, <laughs> this thing's pretty accurate. I may just skip the stock and the long barrel and get me some kind of, I seen a guy on eBay, I've got my, my belt the wrong tension this morning yeah i seen this guy on ebay that was making holsters for these i may just grab one of those and call this thing good and just have a pistol for some target practice well guys that's going to be it for me today i think i'm going to quit while i'm ahead because uh i know how this is about to go if i keep shooting but I hope everybody's doing good. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the Crossman American Classic. Let me know what you think about keeping it pistol versus building a rifle out of it. I've already turned my P1322 kind of into a rifle. And my original plans was to build this one out into a long uh, 177. But I'm thinking I need a pistol to shoot also. But let me know what you guys think. Hope everybody's doing good. I'll see you guys later.